Asbestos is a group of six naturally occurring silicate minerals in the form of long, thin fibres. These fibres have slightly different properties and normally identified by their individual colours. Asbestos has been used almost as long as recorded human history thanks to its relative abundance and ease of manipulation. It's had widespread use in the construction, insulation and fire resistance industries. The visible fibres that can be seen in asbestos themselves are made up of even smaller fibres which are invisible to the human eye. Because these fibres are so small and light, any damage to the asbestos causes them to become airborne where it can settle on other objects in the environment like clothing or can be inhaled into the lungs. It does mean however that if there is an asbestos layer sealed between two other materials in a building, for instance between two brick walls, so long as the walls remain intact, the asbestos won't enter into the environment. However, if an old building with asbestos inside it is renovated or demolished, this time that any asbestos contained in the building may be released into the environment. The other way that asbestos can be currently entered into the environment is through the actual production of these materials. And most Western countries have banned the mining and manufacture of asbestos due to the risk it poses to human health. However, it's still legal in the USA and Canada, though its use is declining, and production in Brazil, Russia and China still continues at substantial levels today. The detrimental health effects of asbestos may have actually first been noted in Roman times, but it really wasn't until the start of the 20th century that real evidence started to emerge. The practical uses of the substance outweighed concerns for workers' health, something that was in line with many other dangerous practices at the time. Much like smoking, the industrial pressure and lack of detailed scientific studies producing conclusive evidence meant that large-scale production continued late on into the 20th century. Due to the fibres being inhaled into the lungs, it's these that have been discovered to suffer from the diseases caused by asbestos. Life-threatening diseases are lung cancer, mesothelioma and asbestosis. Mesothelioma is an incurable cancer tumour of the mesothelium, the protective lining covering the various organs of the body. Asbestosis causes an inflammation of the lung tissue. These diseases and other asbestos related diseases cause significant breathing difficulties for the sufferer, meaning they suffer long periods of painful debilitation, often needing artificial supplies of oxygen and other uh, assistance to survive, normally rendering them incapable of working. Part of the issue with asbestos is that the fibres are so small they get wedged deep within the lungs are impossible to remove. So someone who inhaled fibres may still develop symptoms decades after their exposure. The good news is that asbestos can be disposed of either by being put into a toxic landfill or actually by heating it to a very high temperature which changes the nature of the substance rendering it harmless. That's asbestos, a really useful product but whose health risks no longer make its use worthwhile.